There comes a time in your life where you gotta go from the student to the teacher. It's a story as old as time where the learner has to prove themselves to the master, but in this case, my master is trial and error. And I was the student, so it's not that serious. Now, that doesn't mean I can't still be the master. So, my pupils, today I will be showing you how to make a Bluehost website from A to Z, no stone unturned and bases left uncovered. And better yet, for those of you who don't have Bluehost, don't think I forgot about you either, because in the description below, I have a link to a site-wide discount that saves you tons of moolah on anything Bluehost. So if you're considering it in the first place, then let this push you over the edge, because these kind of things come once in a lifetime. So make sure to check that sucker out. All right, so to get started with your website, what you got to do is go to your websites tab and then go to add site. And from here, there's a bit of a process. So you're going to have to install WordPress, but uh, you'll just have to answer a few questions before you get into that. But it's very brief. So essentially, first up, you have to choose whether or not you have a site that exists and if you want to transfer that. For this case, we don't have any existing sites, so we're going to choose install WordPress, which will do as such. And from here, you can choose to give your site a name, but we don't have to do that, so I won't necessarily do it right now, but we'll do it later. And so we're going to skip that for now. And if you have a free uh, domain for that year that you got in your plan, then you can go ahead and choose the temporary domain instead of entering another domain that you have. If you do have another domain, you can just type it in here and then you will have access to that domain. But for this video, since we have our temporary domain, we're going to use that. And then we continue. You can also choose to skip, but we're going to do it this way uh, for this video. So we're going to continue and then now you have to just wait for WordPress to install itself and then I'll be back with you in a little bit. All right, so now that it's all finished downloading, we can go ahead and start working on our website. So to do that, you just got to click on edit site right here and then it's going to take you to this page asking if you want to migrate a WordPress site again or if you just want to start the setup and that's what we want to do. Next up is going to ask us, what is our experience with WordPress? Assuming that you don't have any experience, I'm going to go with never used it. And then once you continue the setup, you're going to be asked what kind of sites you're actually making. And for me, well, for this video, let's go with a, I don't know, let's go with a entertainment site. And then after that, you're going to get another set of questions or just another question rather asking what type of site you're actually making so you can kind of specify it, right? And for this one, how about we just go with, I don't know, let's go with music. It's easy, a little easier to do than the other ones that I've uh, made a website for. So after that, you get into a little more of the detail oriented stuff, right? So how will your site look and some of the basic info. So from here, we can actually name our site. So we're going to go with, um, I don't know, let's go with music, music and um, notes, music and notes. I don't know. It's a random name. We're just going to we're going to go with it. Let's let's get this grammatically correct, right? So music and notes. I don't know if that's going to help the grammar, but anyways, and you can also edit the site description as well as add any social media that you have. So you can look into that if you want to add that at this point. Afterwards, you can go ahead and click on next. And from here, you're going to get an option to see um, what are your priorities. So if your priorities are selling or designing, then you can click on either of these. But for me, I'm going to go with uh, publishing because we're not selling anything and there's no, I'm not, you know, artistically uh, gifted to do any designing. So we're going to go with publishing. But for you, obviously, it can be whatever you want it to be. And then you can go ahead and click next again. The next thing that you're going to find is your themes, colors, fonts, and some of the design things that I mentioned just a minute ago. Uh, so it might have been seconds ago, but whatever. <laughs> That's not important. So you can select any of the themes that you want. It's totally up to you. For me, I'm going to go with the first one. And then you can see a little further uh, how the other pages look. But uh, once that loads up, you can go ahead and click next again if you're satisfied with the uh, theme that you picked. And this is just an example of that, of what your pages are going to look like once you apply any given theme. So if you're OK with that, like I mentioned, you can go ahead and proceed. The next set of questions or not questions, but options you have for your site is to change your uh, design a little bit. And so as you can see here on the left hand side, we're changing it a little more customized to our liking. Now, I personally like this one because it makes it look sleek. But when we're making our own website, we're not going to have any of this. But I just want to show you briefly how it looks like if you want to go down this route. 
Second to last is how do you want your home page to be laid out? So here you have three options and then also you can check how these layouts are gonna change well the site that you're trying to make. And now, you know, it kind of gives you an idea of what you've done until this point. I'm not very picky as to what I'm gonna select here, but for you, if you're making this using all the templates and you're gonna use some of the things that you actually picked in this section, then this is probably important because you don't wanna go ahead and um, make any mistakes. But then again, you can mess around with this and customize it later on. So don't think that it's irreversible from this point on. And you'll see that in a few seconds once we have our site created, and then I'll take you through everything that you need to know. And the last thing we need to check out is our uh, page layouts before it actually starts generating our website. Now, the layout is basically the different parts of your website. So do you want a blog to be included? Because as you'll see in a few moments at the top of the website, because when we looked at the headers, there were some other uh, links that you, you could go to, like buttons that you could uh, go to to access other parts of the website. Now you can include those if you want, but they're not actually very functional outside of just looking nice, but uh, we're not gonna include that because it gets a little bit in the way. But if you do choose to do that and then you wanna change it later on, I'm gonna show you how to get rid of these headers in a few seconds. So there's a lot coming, but don't worry, it's not gonna be confusing. So after this point, what you can do is go ahead and click next and then from here on out it's going to take you to another section asking you about your plugins and the services in your toolbox i didn't read that i just just came to mind and so you can choose to add all the plugins of course you want to especially this coming soon plugin because this will determine if your site is visible to the public essentially and you can switch between it being enabled or disabled so whether or not you want your site to always be live or for it to be in the coming soon section or coming soon stage rather um, before you're ready to launch it. So make sure you click this check mark so you have that option. And after you click next in the top right, it's gonna start generating your website. And again, we're just gonna have to wait a little bit before it makes that for us. And then we'll see what it cooks up. Well, that was pretty quick. So uh, it's made our website and now we can complete the setup to show you how our website looks based on the customization options we picked a few seconds ago. So once that shows up, you can kind of get an idea of what you did and how that looks in practice. And here we have the, I'd say, Bluehost slash WordPress uh, dashboard. And from here, you can access all kinds of different sections of WordPress. And on the right hand side, which is nice, uh, the help center pops up immediately. It can help you get started, but since you have me here, we don't need that help center, but it's nice to have regardless. So from here, the core things that you need to know, I'm gonna go over a few things because there's a lot of different plugins and additions and settings over here on the left-hand side. So I'm gonna tell you what you need to know right now. And then, uh, you know, there's a lot of different subsections that I could talk about, but I'm not gonna waste your time. So essentially what you need to know is in the top right here, you see the coming soon thing. So like I mentioned, you uh, can toggle that on or off. And to do that, you can go to the settings. So top left, it says Bluehost, you can toggle this on or off. Uh, once you disable this, it's gonna say live. So your website is now available for everybody to see, but I don't want that right now because there's nothing to really see. And so that's an important thing for you to know. And also the staging section. So staging is important because this allows you to see your website's functionality before it's actually live so you can make sure that all the links and videos and all that good stuff is working before it's available to the public so you want to make sure that is installed so you can go ahead and create a staging site and then you have that functionality available to you so going down the list now jetpack is like a backup for your website if you enable this i believe that it's immediately uh, provided to you in every uh, Bluehost package. But generally what this does is it allows you to back up all of the edits that you make to your site. So you can go ahead and connect this and make sure that you're not missing out on any saves that you could be making uh, manually. And you know, in case something happens to your website, say even your internet cuts out or your power goes out, you wanna make sure that you can update it and this will back it up in case that happens. And the next thing on the left side that you need to know is the pages. So the pages is important because if you wanna add a link to another part of your website, say you have like a blog and you want people to be able to click on that button to take them to the blog, then you wanna to go to uh, pages, add a new page and then enter the URL and add it to 
your homepage. But we'll go through that eventually, just make sure that you know this, but I'll come back here so you won't forget it. So once we get to that point, I'll make sure to return to this and so it's all clear to you. At this point, I've covered everything that you need to know to just get into your website. Now, the plugins are very important. So what you want to do is install a plugin called, well, it's called Starter, but it's actually Elementor. So we're gonna add a new plugin. And for you, what you need to do is search for Starter. So to make a search, you just click right here. I already have it recommended to me because I've already done it. And so once you search for it, it should show up as the first thing on the left-hand side. And then if you can install that, then you can go ahead and activate it in a moment. So we're gonna install it and it doesn't take very long for it to do that. And then you will be able to activate it and then get the process going. Okay, so there we go. It has installed and now we can activate it. So from here, this isn't my first time using Starter. I don't know that it's gonna tell you the exact thing that you usually see. If it doesn't, I'll explain it to you in a second, but I just have to see if it's gonna show me the next screen that I got the first time I was using Starter. Okay, so this is perfect. This is the page that I was wondering whether or not it would show up, so it did. So on the left-hand side, you have Block Editor and then the Beaver Builder. Now these are both great options, but for the easiest and most accessible option, you wanna go with Elementor because that's the, the template builder that we installed in the first place. And from here, what you can do is decide which template you want. So depending on the site that you're building, you can choose one for business, local business, all of these uh, sections, you can customize your own template and determine which one works best for you. So what did we pick? We picked, let's go for music. So let's see what they have for music. If I can find something that works for me. All right, so it looks like we have some music options. So obviously I'm not gonna use any of these, but uh, just to give you an idea again, what that looks like. So we can pick this Mercy Law one. And then from here, it's gonna ask us if we want to uh, upload a logo. I don't have any logos, so it's not that important to me, but if you have one, then you can add it here or you can add it later. So we're gonna skip and continue for now. And then like we did earlier, we can still change the color. So like I mentioned, nothing is permanent and you can always change something uh, later on. And we're gonna uh, go next, but again, you can change the fonts from here as well. So there's a lot of customization until you actually get to the website building part. From here, what you have is you have to enter your name, your work email, uh, whether what's your experience with uh, starter just wordpress in general and building websites and then who you're building your website for so we're gonna go with uh myself and for the other stuff you're gonna have to input that information for yourself and then i'm gonna show you what happens next but once you do that you just submit and build your website and then we'll get to that part in a little bit Okay, so when it does install, you're gonna find yourself at this screen. Now, we can't actually edit anything from this screen. It's just gonna give you a brief overview of everything that you've done until this point, all the customization options that you've applied. And from here to actually do the edits, you gotta go to the top of the page and hit, well, edit page. And then you're gonna be greeted with this screen. So from here, we're not actually gonna edit the site, but what you do need to know is that if you're trying to add another section to your page, then you need to grab the URL for that page. And it's gonna be in the pages section up here, or the pages tab rather. You grab that URL and then you input it into the text box, which you will see in a little bit when I do make another uh, section for the site that we're gonna be making. So keep that in mind. And also the, the boxes that I unchecked earlier on when we were starting to make our websites, um, I said that they would be a little distracting and they're permanent to the website because you can't customize them. Well, what you can do is also edit them here so you can remove them. I'm gonna leave this home uh, text box here because I just wanna show you how that works. But as for everything else, you can also remove these logos if you don't want them, totally up for you. What I will do is I will remove this logo and so you can see how that works. So we're gonna move on with Elementor and then we can start getting our feet wet. Okay, so once you've hit edit with Elementor, you're gonna be taken to this screen, a screen that doesn't include the template that I picked in the first place. And I will show you how to get to that. Sometimes this happens, so it's totally understandable. Uh, if you see this on the right side, it's gonna be very narrow for your site. It's not gonna give you the freedom that you wanted. But the first concern is that this isn't the template that you picked in the first place. However, before I show you how to get to that template and to the site that you want, it's uh, crucial that I just tell you that the thing that I I deleted does actually disappear here. So I just wanted to prove to you that it does have an effect and I'm not just yapping about nothing, okay? So let me show you how to get back to the pages section. So um, from here, what you gotta do is click on these three bars on the left-hand side, and then you click exit. And this will take you back to the WordPress page that we were just at. 
All right, and from here you go back once more, you click on the top left where it says view pages, and then you'll be able to find the template and the page that I initially wanted. And so we're gonna find that really quickly. So that's gonna show up as uh, the front page Elementor. Now it looks like, or sounds like something that's be applicable to your site and you know, the, your first natural instinct to click on, but that's not the one. So what we wanna click on is home Elementor, and then that's gonna take us to the, uh, the site that we wanted in the first place. However, we will have to go through the Elementor or the WordPress page and then click on edit with Elementor again. So it's just kind of doing it in reverse. And I guess I'll show you that once more because why not? It's already loading up, so I don't have to uh, delay this anymore if it takes a little bit to download because my internet's been very shoddy today. So I apologize if this takes a little time to uh, load up, but that's totally down to my internet. It's a Monday. It happens, right? And so, oh, I stand corrected. So I guess it doesn't do that. Well, there you go. I learned something as well. Sometimes it does take you to the uh, WordPress page, but I guess this time it didn't. So whatever, it might happen. If it does happen, then you just go through the same process that we did uh, before. So here is the template that I picked and we can start editing this as we see fits. Now to do that, what we could do is go back to our pages and add a new page and then start from scratch. That's definitely plausible, but to be a little more efficient, I have something else in mind. Now, what you see up top is some of the header content that I didn't make. I didn't make this header, so I don't want any of this here. So we'll have to make a new header and footer. What we can do is clear out this and where is it? And this, right? So this is a bit of a spoiler, but don't worry, I will get into that in a minute. So what we need to do to clear out all of this junk that we have is go to, uh, where is it? Yeah. So go to the bottom left where it says settings and then click on a uh, page layout. Right now it's on default. What we want is the Elementor canvas and then we update the site. And then when it updates, I will show you what happens. All right, so the update process is finished. Now you might be wondering, okay, dude, what's changed? Don't worry, dude, I got you. So if you minimize this, you'll see up top that we don't have that nasty header, nor do we have our footer at the bottom. So we've made progress. You can check for yourself here. No extra doodads. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna delete all of these. So what you can do to delete things is right click and hit delete, but I prefer a more visual representation of my destruction and mayhem. So I'm just gonna go ahead and exit out of all that. And voila, we have a blank canvas. It's nice and tasty, and now we can do what we want with it. But first, what we need to do is add a header and footer. So how about we get into that too? So to do that, what we gotta do is go back to our dashboard, and we gotta add a new plugin. To add our plugins, like I said at the beginning, we go to plugins and install a new one. But I just wanna grab the name for this one so you know what it's called. And so it is called Elementor Header and Footer Builder. So you go to your add new plugin section and then you can just search this up. And the first thing that shows up is what you should be grabbing. So you take this one called, well, Elementor Header and Footer Builder, easy enough, and you install it and activate it. When you do activate it, you go up to, where is it, to appearance and it should be under, yeah, appearances. So it should be Elementor Header and Footer Builder. And from here, you can add your own header and footer. Um, personally, I like to add the header because then the footer kind of is easier to manage because you can customize that later on. But I'll show you how to do the header. And uh, with that, you should know how to process the footer. It's the same uh, idea, just kind of different, um, different way of naming it, right? So here it is. So this is my test header and footer. So to determine what it is, whether or not you want one or the other, you just type in or you just search from the drop down menu, whether it's a header or footer. I'm, I'm going to go with header. And then the display on allows you to determine whether or not you want it to be displayed on your whole site or just uh, particular pages. So for me, I'm, I'm going to go with entire website and the user roles. Yeah, this determines whether or not it there's a difference in website appearance. Um, whether you're logged in or logged out. So if you have a members or yeah, if people can log into your website, then um, they have different things that they can find. And so once you're done all that, you can update it. And then if you want, you can go ahead and edit with Elementor. However, it's not really necessary in our case because we have a website. And so, um, but I just wanted to show you how that looks. So once you finish this whole process, you can go ahead and start working on your website immediately. 
um, and I will show you how to actually do all the things that that plugin allows you to do. Um, and so once you scroll all the way down, you will find the plugin right here, Elementor Header and Footer Builder. But before we go into that, I just want to show you how you can change some of the menu options. So essentially, let me just give you an idea right here so I have a point. So once you make your header and footer, you're able to actually customize what goes on up here above the rest of the page. And so as you can see here, there's four options. Now you can change or you can remove or add whatever you want. And how you can do that is you go back to where you were in the first place. I'm gonna leave this alone. And then you're gonna see the changes that I make on the other website. So to change the menu options, you go to where is it right here it should be in appearances again you go to menus in appearances and then you can change what you have available to you to add something to your uh menu you can go to custom links and you can add it to your menu by just typing in whatever you want so let's say chicken can i spell oh can we we might be able to chicken and i'm just gonna copy that so i don't have to ruin my spelling lose my dignity and you add it to the um, menu section here and I will show you certain other things that I think improve your quality of life, but I think we should just uh, take it slowly. And so um, what you can see here is once I save the menu, it will show up on the other screen. So let it do its thing. And then right now there's nothing here because I took it out. Um, once I put the plugin back to work, once I put the menu at the top of the page, um, you will be, I think it should show up or maybe I need to update my page altogether. So yeah, here you go. So you can see chicken right here. Obviously, I don't want, want chicken in my menu, but I'm just going to leave it there because it's a little inside joke between you and I. And later on, I will show you how to access different parts of your website using a link, not necessarily different pages in your site, but just within the home page if you want. So I'll do that in a minute. But how about we start editing the website and I'll take you through every process that you need to know to uh, build your site. And then later on, once we have different pages or different sections of your main page, then we'll start looking at um, adding links to those areas as well. So how about we just get started with that and let me take you back to the page that we're supposed to be on and then we'll get started. So to kick things off, how about we start from the top? So we already did the header and footer building process, but we need to start somewhere. So we'll begin with that. So first things first is you need to learn what containers are and how to use them to your advantage. So to access the containers, you go to this plus button and then it'll say add new container. And from here, it's basically choosing what your structure is supposed to look like. So what kind of layout you're looking for in a particular section. And I'll show you what I mean. So at the top, what we want to do is we want to add our menu and a logo or some kind of title. So to do that, we're going to take advantage. We're just going to update that first. Make sure you update your progress. So to access the rest of your tools, you got to go to these. What is this like three by three? So that's nine, right? Nine. I remember grade three math. And so you go down to the Elementor header and footer builder. And as I showed you before, everything that you put into your menu is going to be there. And I actually capitalized the C and the chicken. So don't worry if you have OCD. I made sure that it's not a problem. So we're just going to take the navigation menu. And as I've already shown you before, but I haven't pointed out, everything here is uh, drag and drop. So it's very easy to actually access it for our title over here. We're just going to go to our header. So that's going to be under our basic. A lot of these are only exclusive to people who have uh, Elementor Pro or the upgraded version, whatever it's called. Um, the general isn't very, I don't know, it, it isn't very necessary for what I'm doing right now, but it is something that you can add once you get into more of like an advanced tutorial or if you're more advanced in Elementor and site building. But right now, I don't think it's important to go through that because it's not necessary, nor do we need to really use it for the purposes that I'm using for this video. And so what I want to do is add a title and title should be under the basic. This is where we're going to spend most of our time. I might use the social media icons under the where is it the general, but uh, we'll get to that eventually if I do use them at all. So what I want to do here is add a header and I want to name my sites the thing that I called it in the first place. So, oh boy, music and notes. Give me a moment here, folks. Music and notes. And so that's what it, what it looks like. So I'm going to update this and I don't really like that this is uh, close to the title. So I want to separate this. So I'm, well, I want to give it some space. So to do that, we go to style and we can change the spacing in between or we can change the row spacing. So like anything under this can be like separated from this. 
as an airplane just totally flies over me. Or if you want to separate all of these sections, um, I don't know if you can hear the airplane. I'm sorry if you can, um, but I'm, I've got, I'm too far into this to start over. Um, so if you want to separate, if you want to add spacing between the different menu items, then you can just go to horizontal padding or you can change where they're located. Um, how would I describe this actually? You can change the spacing between the top of the site and the bottom of this outline that you have here. And so you can do that to make it look a little more, I don't know, customized. So it looks a lot more modern, I'd say. And also apologies for the purple color, actually. That that should be terrible for you to look at. Um, so I'm going to change the text color to, let's go green, because green's really nice. I like green, but it doesn't look, it doesn't suit this page. So we're going to go with, let's go with white. Works just fine. So we're going to go with whites. And I would change the color to this to red, but I, I don't know if that's going to help. Um, and so this is fine as it is. So we made the beginning of our website. So I want to make a little separate section for this top area. And to do that, I go back to my container. I add this direction column and you can just add the divider by dragging it from here, putting it in there. And I believe I can also change the color of it, right? So we'll change the color of it to white so it looks a lot more sleek and let's see what we got in our repertoire right now so when we preview changes this looks like a nice site i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna pump my own tires but i think that looks pretty neat and so we're gonna go back here and how about we add a little bit of a descriptor so we're gonna put in a picture and i should mention that you can change the size of these if you want it's kind of the same function as this but i mean um it it's something that I figure I should mention. So how about we add a picture on the left side? So to do that, we just go to image and you can change where you want the image to be by dragging on it. So if you don't like that, then don't worry, not a problem. So I want the image to be smaller and say we're promoting some kind of random artist, right? And so we're gonna grab, um, is there a CD here? Ah, right, so whatever this is called, we're gonna put it there and we wanna increase this perhaps just to give it a little more prominence. And how about we call it something? So I changed my mind. It's going to be much larger than I thought it would be. And so let's change the width. So that's the max width. And so this is kind of giving you a, an idea of, um, oh, wow, that does not look nice at all. Um, there we go. That looks nicer, I think. You can change the width and height of something by going through this process. Actually, I don't like that at all. Let's restart that. Um, so to delete something, you can just, as I mentioned before, you can delete it by right clicking on it. So I'm going to change it. Let's, oh, whoa. I kind of limited myself by going through the, um, by using that template. What I actually want to do is I want to go like this. I'm going to make this a little wider and I'm going to put the picture. Uh, no, I do not want the picture there. What am I doing? So I want an image, image in here, and I want to change the image. Apologies for this confusion here. Um, some, some misunderstandings between me and the website. So we're gonna select this, that's fine. I, the outline makes it look a little more um, old school, but don't worry because once we actually start making more things to the sites or adding things to the site, it's gonna look a lot nicer. So here we're gonna add something. We're gonna be like, what is this? A mercy law, mercy law, mercy law music, music, no, mercy law music. And let's add a sub section to this. So we're going to add a text editor and we're just going to put it. Can I put it under here? Right. So I'm going to do this. And like I mentioned with the picture, you can just um, drag and drop and move the text how you see fits. I'm fine with the Latin. I don't know if you're not. I don't know if there's any anti Latin people out there. I think the the barbarians would have not liked this or the Germanic people would not be fans of this. Not the G German people. If you're a history nerd, then you know about the Roman. Anyways, the Roman Empire aside, um, I guess that's that just shows how, that men do actually think about the Roman Empire. Look at that. And so this is what our website looks like right now. Mercy Law Music it looks a lot nicer, cleaner. And how about we add, I don't know, um, a video. So we want to promote, a, uh, there's a song of hers. So we can grab another one of these neato thingos and we're going to grab this like we did before, but I believe I can put this underneath it if I'm not wrong. Um, and we can just add a, hold on, let me let me rework what I'm thinking here. So I'm gonna add a video here and we're gonna find a random, so I think, yeah, they're gonna add a random song. And so this is one of her songs, let's say, and if we want to update that, 
we can check it out again to see what our website looks. I like to just double check every time I add something. So yeah, this looks really nice. So we have the music. I assume this is gonna be like, I don't know, let's, for our example, this is a music video of hers. That's what uh, viewers are gonna see once they visit the site. And now I wanna show you how you can add links to buttons and how you can go to other parts of your page. So we're gonna add another title here, just a random title, whatever it might be. And I'm gonna put it right here. So we're gonna have the biography right here. And um, I'm gonna name this uh, accordingly. And we're gonna update this section. And what I wanna do, is I'm gonna show you some really neat tricks. So from here, what you need to do is go back to your menu, to your appearance and then in your menus, and then find the biography. Now I've already done this, but I'm gonna update it again. So in our biography, we want to, um, we want to name it biography. Where are we, where are we? All right, okay, it's right here. So we go to advanced and we name it biography. Uh, we gotta go to, hold on. We gotta go to our CSS ID. So from here, we gotta name our biography, biography and the CSS ID. I wasn't just repeating myself. So you name it that because it will allow the menu to know where it needs to go. And so let me just double check what I've done over here. So I named biography, biography, and I'm gonna save this in the menu section. And once I preview this, I believe it's going to work as such. Right, and so it's gonna take me down to here, and then that's how that works, right? So since there's not much going on on the site, it's not a very drastic difference. You're not gonna be like, wow, it's taking me all the way down to like whatever section. But if you wanna do that, if you wanna uh, send viewers to another part of your uh, homepage, then that's how you do it. So if you ever wondered how that happens when you visit a site, well, that's how that works. And if I want to say add concerts, so if I wanna take concerts and you, you click the button and then it takes you to another website or another page then what you can do is go to concerts and i'm going to use the template that i already grabbed from before so the template that we made earlier on the website that is like my illegitimate website i'm going to use that now so i'm going to take the url and if i'm not incorrect then this should take me once i click on it it should take me to that website that i had in the first place and so i think i might need to update this really quickly um so i'm going to just refresh this to see if it works if it doesn't then we'll find a way because when there's a will, there's a way. And uh, let me just give give it a little moment to um, do its thing. Let's preview it. And what was it? What did I put it on? Concerts, right? Concerts. All right. Let's see if this works. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. It doesn't work right now. Maybe it will. Give it a moment. No. All right. Hold on. Let me let me see what's going on here. So ah, you know what? I think the problem might be, um, hold on, hold on. Is it the hashtag? Well, let me just, let me just check this out really quickly. Let me resolve this problem. Let's see if I can do it on the spot or if I need to, maybe it's the link that's messing it up. Uh, right. The link isn't clickable. All right. Let me resolve this really quickly. Give me a moment. Oh, well that, that helps or that doesn't help. So change this or save the menu. Concert should take me to this website. I think so um, We refresh it. Sorry if this is taking extra time. I'm not it should be taking me to the link Ah, oh, there we go. See I know what I'm doing ladies and gentlemen. It's it's just a little a little glitch in the in the um, Let's call it the matrix. So yes, I did it correctly the first time. I guess it was just a loading error So let me just do that again so I can prove to myself that I know that I did it correctly and so the biography takes you to that. The concerts take you to... Please don't hold out on me. We know that it works now, whether or not my internet's gonna communicate. Yeah, so we know that it works now. So that's how you do that. So if you wanna link it to another part of your website, you go through the CSS ID. And if you want to link it to another URL, then you can do it that way. Or if you want, I only did it that way because I can't actually do it manually through here. If you wanna add a button, let's say, so we're going to add a button. So we're going to drag and drop a button. Oh, what's going on here? We're going to drag and drop a button. Oh yeah, because there's only one container. So we're going to add a container right here. We're going to add a button and the button should not be right there. Let me just uh, change the, the location of that. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. So let me just change this. Where is the order? So we're going to put it in the middle 
and I'm gonna put a link to that. So to change the location of this button or to give it a location in the first place, you do the same thing. So you just hit the URL, you enter the URL into the link, you update it, and then it should take you to that website. Now, I'm not sure if there's gonna be any clash here because I have two links that go to the same place, but I don't think there should be. And so, yeah, once again, I, I, I'm right. I'm right, what can I say? Um, better that I be right than wrong, right? Otherwise, I'd be giving you um, false information, and that's no fun. So yeah, you know how that works as well. So I'm glad we figured that out. So now you know how to go to a different part of your website and how to link another page. So ain't that great. However, before I let you go, I just wanted to remind you of how you can make your site active. So all you gotta do, if you don't remember, is go to your uh, Bluehost dashboard, head over to settings, and then right here it says live, but for you it might say uh, coming soon. So right here it might say coming soon. And then once you uh, enable this to be live, then it'll be live. And to slowly wrap this video up, what I want to do is add a social media section and maybe fill this biography with some words. And then we're gonna add a map, for example, at the bottom of this just to wrap it up and make it look nice. And so to do that, what we're gonna do is first, we're gonna take this container, put a divider right here, and wrap, yeah, right there should be good. We'll change the color of it to be white and just looks a little neater. And then right here, we'll put a bit of text or is there a text box here already? Let me just double check. There is no text box. So we're gonna add text in the first place. Oh, there was a text box, but it didn't show up. So we'll go like that. The biography doesn't need to be so, or the, the title doesn't need to be so large. And what I'll just do for the, t okay, hold on, hold on. For the, for the text, I'll just copy and paste what we have here, just so it looks like there's a lot more going on. And don't worry about this, we will fix that in a second. Uh, let me just grab it from this side. Oh, that's not at all what I was thinking of doing. Right, there we go. So that looks a lot neater. So that's a bit of a biography about this artist, or we'll change her name, we'll put it Mercy. Sure, Mercy is her name. Um, and that's Mercy's name. And what we want to do for Mercy is we want to add a social media section. So say if you want to get into contact with our hit artist, we'll just put a container right there. And then I will use the social media buttons that I talked about earlier. So we'll put it right there. And I want to change the alignment. So if I can change the alignments and put them in the left-hand side, and we will, I don't know, we'll add WordPress, for example, because every great artist has WordPress. And we can also change the columns so it can be, you know, three, four, you can change it up how you want, but we're gonna go with what we have right here. And the style can be, we can change the sizing as well, so it can be larger, smaller, padding, it, can, it kind of works the same thing as, padding is similar to size, change the spacing and the row gaps, so totally, totally up to you. I think for me, that's perfectly fine. We're going to update that and perhaps add another divider. I really like dividers. If you haven't noticed, they just kind of make me very happy. And the divider is going to go right there. We're going to change this to this and maybe, maybe um, add some space between the rest of our section. So we'll change the space there. And that should look nice and dandy. And for this website, I think what I can do actually, so the biography is gonna go from biography to mercy. So what we wanna do here is change the advanced to CSS. So I think it's called biography, right? And so, cause I changed the name, so I, I don't usually do that. So we'll see how that works. So we'll update this. And I believe in this, we need to, where's my biography? Biography needs to be called, uh, I believe that's the same, because it, it doesn't really matter what this is called, uh, what the um, title of it is, as long as the CSS ID is uh, linked to it. So let's see how that works out. So I should probably just save that and let's see how this plays out. Um, so we'll go to that and the biography. And like I thought, yeah, it would take you down to this. So. I was just a little confused. I, I have to do some mental gymnastics sometimes, which it, it really isn't that difficult, but just to try to put two and two together. So we've resolved that. That's a personal thing that I have to figure out. So I will change this to make it look in line with all of the other dividers. So that's okay. And then we'll find 
a map. So we'll change our map. Uh, well, I guess that works as well, right? And our map is like this. And so our website is kind of finished. I mean, I could add a lot more things to it, but for the purposes of this video, it doesn't need to be um, like 14 pages long. And to wrap it up, I'll just also put a title up here, right there. We'll put uh, a header saying, find us, I suppose. Yeah, find us, find us, which is a little ominous, but regardless, that's our website. So I think that looks pretty neat. It's not, you know, very complex and long, but I think that gives you a good idea of what you can do with this. See, this is how it all comes together. And it looks a lot neater than it was before we can go access another website and the process is the same as it would be with what we just did. So you just go to, if you want to customize this, you just go down to the bottom left settings and then uh, go to Elementor Canvas and then that is how that works. So I believe I've covered everything that I really need to show you. Um, obviously there's a certain extent to which I can show you what to do and then the rest is kind of up to you because it's all about creativity. I'd say 10% is about understanding how the tools work and the rest is mainly you just doing it yourself and figuring it out. So what have I showed you today? I've showed you how to link to other pages. I've showed you how to link to another part of your website, how to drag and drop things, what a container is and how to work your menu and the plugins that I think are important for you to have. And so I think that wraps it up. That was quite a journey. It's a relatively long video, but I hope this video helped you guys. And um, if you have any more questions, feel free to ask them down in the comment section below. However, before I let you go, I just wanted to remind you of how you can make your site active. So all you got to do, if you don't remember, is go to your uh, Bluehost dashboard, head over to settings, and then right here it says live, but for you it might say uh, coming soon. So right here it might say coming soon. And then once you uh, enable this to be live, then it'll be live and then your site is available for everybody to see. And also don't forget to check out that site-wide discount on offer that you have for Bluehost if you wanna spare yourself the extra cost. But as you've seen already, there's a lot of free things that you can use, free plugins that allow you to get the most out of Elementor's free version. So, I mean, WordPress gives you that option because they're very flexible. So, as always, don't forget to check out that link down in the description below if you wanna make a site like this and go even further. If you guys did like the video though, make sure to hit that like like button and subscribe to the channel to get more tutorials like this in the future and allow more people to find us so we can make their lives easier. But at any rate, thank you all for watching this video. I hope it was of use to you and until next time, take care and I will catch you in the next one.